many people. I've done this with them. He's a wonderful person. I'm so excited for him to come up here and share. So I, I already said thank you, but I just want to say thank you again because it's just amazing like how many people rolled up here and that we can do this. So um, yeah, thank you for coming out. And I actually had my speech planned out. I was going to talk about um, underpriced attention and how you can leverage that to build a personal brand and how LinkedIn and LinkedIn video is exactly that right now. Um, but then obviously like. I had a random thought and I thought like, okay, let's not do that, let's do a different thing. Um, and, I, and I still can talk about that. It's, it's something that, that I like doing and that I know that I know a lot about. Me and Ben, he just um, um, teased that a bit. We're gonna build something around that. We're starting up something new. But um, what, I, what I wanna talk about is, um, so I, I, do you guys see this? <laughs> Maybe kind of closer. <laughs> it's it's a hickey, <laughs> but the, but the fun part is it, uh, it's makeup on there. So I actually tried to cover it up because I thought I'm hosting this event and I'm going to be speaking at it. So obviously I can't have a hickey. Like me and Jay literally went to Drain Reed. We had someone put makeup on there so I could try to hide it and well. Just, I think, two hours before this event, I realized this is exactly what I think right now is wrong with personal branding and what I think people are doing wrong with personal brands. And it's the fact that people are trying to cover up their mistakes, their failures, the people, that, the, the things they might not be proud of. They try to cover it up and just try to hide it and hope no one ever sees it. And, and, and try to have this persona because that's what they think as a host, as a speaker, as a businessman, that's the image they have to perceive. And I realized like my success on social media and the, the, the brand I've been able to build, whether that's on, on Instagram and LinkedIn, was leveraging the fact that I was just honest and I was being myself and I was exactly not trying to do that. I dropped out of college a year ago and I thought like, okay, let me just start posting stuff on social media, talking about dropping out of college, talking about not knowing what I'm doing with my life, just being vulnerable, open, and, and, and being honest. And for me, I want this to be, the way I think about this speech is kind of like a case study, why I think covering up your hickeys is a bad move and not a smart move. and and. So the first reason why I think that is because number it, it, it never will work out. Like you can try to hide your mistakes, you can try to not talk about your failures, you can try to build this persona of who you want to be but who you actually not are. But in the end it will play out like maybe some people will not see the mistake but definitely some of them will see it but they will also see the fact that you just try to cover it up and that will mean they will be able to exploit it. If you just open and share your mistakes, it's your leverage. Once you try to cover it up and try to hide it, and then maybe fewer people, maybe not all of them will see it, they can expose you and, and be sure, like once they find it, they're gonna talk about it. Did you hear he made this mistake? Did you hear he actually failed that? Did you hear his client actually, uh, like he, he lost that client? They're gonna talk about you. So don't even try, it's not even gonna work. So that's the number one thing, like you can try but people will find out. The second thing is um, being honest and being authentic is how you create opportunity for yourself that might be something that you think you don't want but you actually want. What I mean with that is when I dropped out of college I didn't have a clue what I'm going to do with my life. I didn't have a degree, I didn't have much experience in anything. So. Without any plan, I just talked about the things that I wanted to talk about, I shared the things I wanted to share, I put out the stuff that I wanted to put out, and once you do that, you get honest feedback of, of where your strengths actually lie. Before people can tell you you're funny, you first have to tell the joke. Before people can tell you you're an amazing photographer, you first have to put out that photo. Before people can tell you you're an amazing storyteller, you first have to tell the story. And without expectation, just telling the joke, thinking maybe it's gonna be funny, 
maybe it's not gonna be funny, but if you just do that, people give you feedback, and that's what happened to me. I just put out random stuff, and over time, people consumed it, they get feedback, give feedback, and I realized, okay, maybe I am a little, little bit funny. Maybe I am experienced with this whole social media thing. Like, that's nothing I decided where my strength is. Hey, my boy. <laughs> um, but it's just, people, people give you feedback on that. So, if you build a personal brand and you strategically decide on what things not to show, because you think that's your persona, like, I'm a lawyer, I can only talk about things that have, have to do with, uh, I don't know, lawyer stuff. <laughs> um, then you, you might have this amazing talent of being a great storyteller or an amazing photographer, but because you never put out your photos because you think you're a lawyer and you can't put out photos of Brooklyn Highline or Brooklyn Skyline, you never get that feedback of people telling you, dude, your photos are actually amazing. And, and so for me, being honest and just sharing without expectation creates real opportunity that is authentic to your actual strength and not the strength that you think you have. And the third thing is, being honest is an amazing filter for getting the right people into your life that should be in your life. Like, of course, by doing this, and like, this is a mistake, I'm not proud of this. Like, this is an example, it's not focused on too much. <laughs> but, like, if, if you're being yourself, of course, some people might not like you. Some people who might have thought, okay, I'm, who might have considered me to speak at their event, now like, oh, I'm definitely not gonna let that kid speak at my event. He's so naive and childish. Like, that's what might happen, but I'm fine with that because I want to create the opportunities that are authentic and I wanna let the people into my life that are authentic and you only create that by being yourself. If you are trying to be someone you're not, Maybe you have more friends, maybe you have business connections that, that extend towards a different like niche or whatever, but it's not who you actually are. Like that's why I was able to build this incredible network because I didn't care about building a network, I cared about making friends. And you make friends, like this is something that I show all of my friends. And this is something like, or at least I wouldn't mind talking about with my friends, but that's why, that's why I like LinkedIn right now because LinkedIn is not this, what's the word, sterile, sterile, like, sterile. it's like not stuck up, like it's, it's pe real people, real connections, I've met friends through LinkedIn, it's not, that's what Ben talked about, it's like building a community, and so I don't want this to be an event where I can't be myself on stage, where I have to come up with a suit and wear something that I'm not wearing, where I have to be someone I'm not, just to be able to speak at that event then that's an opportunity that I don't deserve, but someone else who likes to wear suits. That's his speaking gig. I take the other ones where I can be myself. So it's really these three things. It's never gonna work out. People will find out. You create opportunity that is authentic to your actual strength and not the strength you have. And it's an amazing filter to let the people into your life that should be in your life. And so don't try to hide your hiccups. Hicks. Hicks. What are the hickeys? That's a punchline, thanks. <laughs>